All right, here is the new Bionic from Verizon. Um, I know my review seemed to complain a little bit, but I really just wanted it to be a unique device that offered something more from, from everything else. Um, it is great, it is fast, it is thin, you can see. Um, it's a light. Uh, everything we should expect from the you know the new crop of Android devices. Um, I just wanted a little bit more, a little bit more uniqueness. Um, it still has uh, motor blur. Um, it runs on LTE, which is crazy fast. 20 megabytes download, easy. Um, 25 upload, which was I don't know why upload is more than download, but it is fast. Um, so you can see like the slim, the minimalistic design that I was talking about. You don't notice the power. You don't notice the volume over here. Uh, you don't notice the ports really. Nothing stands out except for the lip and the buttons. Um, it's nice, uh, polished. They're, they're kind of a pewter color. Um, so there's a volume. Here's the power and the headphone jack. Um, and mini USB and, and the HDMI outlet. Um, as you can see in my review, I talked about um, how the, the top was a little creaky. Um, I don't know if you can hear me pressing, but uh, you can see like this the slit is a little a little open and it you know it presses down. Um, so I don't know if it's just this device, but it was a little a little flimsy on back. Um, but I did like the rubberized texture. Um, it helped it stay put. Uh, eight megapixel camera, took nice pictures. Um, you know, no 3D, nothing like that. Uh, front facing camera, everything standard. Uh, so let's get to the the software. Uh, their new their new uh, lock screen, which is nice. A um, little different take. Uh, so here's my the home screens. Uh, you can see the flash, which I don't care for. It's a nice little animation, but doesn't really add anything. Just kind of slows the phone down, which you don't want. Um, again, the the color scheme is a little weird. The metallic blue with the gingerbread green um, doesn't really go together, but that's what they did. I did like this this background. Um, you can tap it and it'll give you the weather. Um, it's a nice little live wallpaper. It'll rain and stuff. Um, you have a little dock at the bottom. You can change these. Um, we'll just go to the app drawer. You can see a little a little slow because it has a little rotating animation. Um, you can also see all the apps that are preloaded, City ID, Citrix, um, Let's Golf, all those kinds of things. Uh, we'll just open up Age of Zombies real quick. I'll show you how snappy it was. You can see automatically loads. It's, it's there. It's ready to play. No slowdown. I'll go to the home screen and then I'll launch Angry Birds um, just to show you how nice it is. Uh, launch. Again, Angry Birds just pops up pretty quickly. No slowdown. This is the first phone that I can really say the dual cores um, really help process the games help get from screen to screen see I haven't played Angry Birds on this phone yet I played it too many times but all in all it's really quick with games you won't have any slowdown um, and then downloading extra content with LTE is ridiculously fast uh, I'll just run a speed test it will probably get 10 megabytes or so um, just because I'm talking about it now. 
but I'll show you my results and and you can see where I was getting 20 megabytes easy um, and the upload will probably be faster oh nice yeah I mean 18 megabytes download is faster than my than my internet than my Comcast um, it's a ridiculous it's a great product and if it was unlimited it would be better uh, you can see I've been getting I got 18 nine, 5 8 14 8 26 20 19 so it does vary a bit but any of those speeds are, are great much better than anything else AT&T or Sprint or anything else is putting out there so this has been getting better than um, the Thunderbolt or the Charge or the Revolution that I had. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I did want a little bit more in terms of apps and software. The Motorola hasn't really up the bar on like Samsung has. I know I played with the the new Galaxy S two series and there's just so many extra features that they added just for user benefit um, this is user friendly but it's just it hasn't upped the bar like I wanted it to um, it is thin don't get me wrong it's thin you can see um, here's a little USB drive to compare it about the same size here. The camera is a little thicker. Um, you can see it has a little slope going down. Um, and the display, I can see the pixels without the, the little cross hatching, without the cross lacing, um, without straining my eyes at all. Which I don't like. I really like the, the SAMOLED screens. Um, the camera's nice. Let me go here. Um, it loads fairly quickly. It'll take a quick picture. Um, but the bad thing is that you can't see how good your pictures are on this screen. You have to look at them on a, on a computer and you'll see how they're pretty good. But they're not going to look good on this screen. Um, I don't know why Verizon chose this over a Galaxy 2. Um, I know they're pretty buddy buddy with Motorola. But comparing them, the Galaxy S is just a, a different beast. It just added so much um, that the Bionic can't really compete with. Again, like I said, Verizon's LTE makes this phone one of the best. Motorola didn't do anything to help them but Verizon's LTE will make anything good. Um, so there's my review. If you want to know anything else about it, you can read the full review on Androinica um, and leave some comments.